Bobcats, and happy Tuesday. Welcome to WBLS. Thank you so much for joining me each morning. Today is Tuesday, May the 19th, 2020. Today we want to wish three Bobcats a very, very happy birthday. Jackson Baggett from fourth grade. Today is your birthday, and I hope you have a great day with family. Aubrey Banks from third grade is celebrating her birthday today. And Aubrey, I hope you have a fun-filled day with your family. And Bryce Ellis is also in third grade, and it's your birthday. Bryce, happy, happy birthday. I hope all three of you have a wonderful day today being celebrated. Good morning, Bobcats. Happy, happy birthday to everybody in the month of May. I hope you get to celebrate each and every day. I know we cannot be together, but we won't be apart forever. Birthdays are my favorite part of the year, and I'm happy that mine is here. Here's a look at our terrific Tuesday weather today. It looks like we're going to have sunshine all afternoon, which is wonderful, with a high of 90, a low of 68. And then it appears that the rain clouds will roll in early, early tomorrow morning. And it looks like we're going to have rain for a number of days after that. It'll be good to cool us off a little bit. And for any flowers you may have recently planted, it's always helpful for that. So get out and enjoy today's beautiful weather. I want to welcome in Miss Aubrey Road from kindergarten to lead us in the pledge today. Please put your right hand over your heart and join us. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Aubrey. It's not too late for you to join us. Send us a video of you doing the um, pledge and we will let you lead all of us. I hope you enjoyed our superhero jokes yesterday. Listen, I've been checking. I haven't gotten any jokes from you, so you're stuck with me, people. Today, I've got a few more superhero jokes. That's our theme um, this week for Special Air. I have to tell you, we have superheroes all over our community right now, don't we? And it's no joke. It is no joke. We have people just stepping up and really just doing an amazing job in all areas. But here are a few superhero jokes for you. Are you ready? What superhero uses public transportation? Buzz Lightyear. Get it? Like Buzz Lightyear, but you're going on a bus? Mm -hmm. What is Spider-Man's favorite month? Webruary. Webruary. That's hard to say. Okay, what do you call, this one's cute, what do you call an organized superhero? Captain Planet. Get it? Like you're going to plan something? I like that one. Okay, here's one last one. What does Peter Parker tell people that when they ask him what he does for a living? What is P Peter Parker's job? He's a web designer. Get it? Like a computer web designer, but he makes spider webs. So I have a message from our art teacher, Miss McDowell. I'm going to share it with you. They will actually be going, um, they, she will be sending home a newsletter um, this week, an art newsletter with information in it. But she asked me to share with our families. You know, they, the kindergarten first graders make the most fabulous self-portrait collages. Um, I still have my children, the uh, children's um, collages are just so special. And so what Miss McDowell wants to let you know is that they were not able to finish them before we unexpectedly um, stopped going to the art room. And so you all got your 
heads completed and you painted the background, but there was lots that you were not able to get done. So Miss McDowell wants you to know she's going to hold on to them, okay, in hopes that you all will be able to complete them next year. It's going to take a little bit of effort once everybody's divided up into new classes, but I have no doubt Miss McDowell is... Um, a Captain Planet herself. She's very good at organizing. So she is going to um, plan on you being able to finish those um, when you return to school. So watch for that newsletter to come home with more information. Thank you, Miss McDowell. Did you know that you can already return your library books to our library? There's a box out front in front of the office. If you'll just drop those books in there, we will get them safely checked in and cleaned and put back on the shelf and give you credit for it. Remember, when you come for your student material pickup, you can put your books into a plastic bag and a staff member will pick those up from you. The very beginning of next week then I will run a report and we will send out reminders to those of you who still have books at home so we can try and get those back because likely I would imagine our book budget's going to be a little slim next year. Thank goodness Michonne just ordered lots of new books right before we left. So but we want to get all those books back um, old or new and get them um, checked back in. So help us out. Go ahead and start dropping them off at that box and uh, we'll get them checked in for you. Speaking of student um, material pickup, that's going to be this week. It will be Thursday and Friday. So on Thursday, that's going to be our pre-K through fourth grade. You should have got some information about what time is best for you to come through and pick up your student materials. Remember, if you have more than one Bobcat, just pick the time that's best for you. It's going to be um, contactless, right? The, the We'll be able to put your materials in your trunk. Just follow the directions that are given. If you'll put your child's name, their grade, their teacher's name in, on a piece of paper on the dashboard, that would help us out. Now, we all know, goodness, we, we're a family at Buck Lake. We love to hug each other, right? We're high fivers. Um, we can't we can't hug each other on Thursday and Friday, right? No matter how much we love each other, no matter how much we miss each other, we're not going to be able to do that. That does not mean we won't be sending you virtual hugs, but we won't be able to make contact this time. And we will most definitely look forward to the day when we can all come together again and give each other a great big hug. But families, if you'll just follow the directions that are given, remember if for some reason you cannot get there on Thursday or Friday at your designated time, just communicate with the um, school and they will get an alternate time for you. This is not to be a source of stress for anybody. Let's see what Mr. Millard's challenge is for you this week. Hey Bobcats, I hope everyone is doing well. And I wanna say thank you to everybody who helped me go camping this week with suggestions about stuff that we should bring uh, on our camping trip. This week, my challenge for you is going to share with the entire community that our Buck Lake Bobcats are the very, very best. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to think about one of your neighbors who needs uh, some uplifting who needs some encouragement, who needs some sunshine in their life. And I want you to make them a card and I want you to leave it on their mailbox for them so that when they come out to get their mail, they'll see it. And I'd like for your mom or dad to take a picture of it and send it in for our morning show so we can share that out. I think it's a great way to bring some sunshine to our community and to show everyone that we're all in this together. I hope you're well and I can't wait to talk to you soon. Have a great day. Did you make a card yesterday and maybe put on your neighbor's mailbox? I know um, I have a retired friend who lives next door to me. It might be nice to put a card on in her mailbox. 
right? You may, my sister lives down the street. She probably wouldn't be expecting it. It might be nice to put a card in her box, but pick somebody in your neighborhood. You don't have to come into contact with them. Make them a beautiful picture. Make them a card. Quietly put it in their mailbox after you take a picture and share it with us on the Buck Lake media page. We want to see you spreading kindness. Speaking of kindness on Fridays, we do Coco's Kindness Corner. You're going to want to tune in on Friday for a special end of year Coco's Kindness Corner. We hope to see you there. I want to thank Charlie for helping me close out the news. Remember, if you want to help me, if you want to help close it out, if you want to do the pledge, if you have a joke, send it to me at youngk at leonschools.net. And I'll plug you in because, listen, when we get back, Miss Young's not going to be able to do that like I have been right now. So this has been your opportunity. Hey, fifth graders, this is your chance to get on WBLS. If you want to send me something, you doing something special, send it on. We're going to share the names of all of our students who met our Sunshine State Challenge um, this week. And we'll be doing a special um, meeting um, up obviously through the computer next week so just watch for more information if you met that challenge and uh, we look forward to seeing all of you so what I'm going to say is that's all for today Bobcats remember to purr be prepared be upstanding be responsible and be respectful take it away Charlie Good afternoon, good evening, and good night.